Oh, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Black. Black Rogue? No, just Rogue. <laughs> Got confused a little bit. Um, can I? Oh, gosh darn it, this is stupid. It sometimes feels like a goat and you can climb everything. Or like a Spider-Man or something. And then you can't. I don't know, it's so strange. Looks like we're gonna have some interesting things happening. So let's see what's going on. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. What's happening? Why is the guy from the third game here? And I think the guy from the fourth? Is the timelines kind of going along each other? Do you understand now? Hmm, no. I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Oh no. These douche. Douches. Shay has seen the true face of the world. And he has chosen his path accordingly. You look more like a witcher, dude. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. Okay. I did not think you'd get this far. <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't <laughs> access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. All right. Oops, this way. Where's the lift? All the way up, baby. This is aquarium around the lift. What the hell? Did you stop by my office? No. I guess, yes, then. Where is your office? Doesn't look to be this way. Hmm. Oh, are you? What? Ah. <sighs> this office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. Oh, is it the office now? Okay. As chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work, but a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. Oh, level two. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Just give me access to everything right away. Come on. All right. Can I have a little bit of a run here? Through this office. Open the magic level two door. Hack this seemingly impossible hack. Uh, no. 
There you go. Solved. Easy. What did we unlock? Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Okay. Macandal was Really nice to listen to, but uh, I have stuff to do, so. Alright. Would be nice if I get there a bit quicker. He can send me this in the email. Over on my super fancy tablet thing. Why? Don't call me like that. I'm definitely not a numbskull. You are a numbskull, you dumbass. What are you calling What's what? happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Shay's back at Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Yeah, the Notre Dame. Okay, let's complete the memory. Let's do it properly this time. Got it. She's in Paris, all right. I yes. Date you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Bird, professional killer and amateur historian. Mm, okay. Let me try and see what's inside here. Arate, what are you doing? I have no quarrel with you. You, uncultured swine, you should not have left your backwater colony. Well, I'll return to Boston. In Philadelphia, actually. Oh, so he's a Canadian too. Help! Help! What's happening? Oh, he's over there. Okay. And these two were nice and slow. Yeah. Shay? Is that you? Nope. Ah, how long has it been? Too long. Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Okay. I think it'd be good, Franklin. Thank you, Shay. Please wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. 
Okay. Look at and kill five criminals. Okay. see him. Ah, oh, there you go. And you're done. Hello, Franklin. How? How did you do that? It was quite... Fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... <laughs> well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. Ooh, are we gonna go in the palace? Are we gonna be... Gonna be in between the famous people. That's the best we can do for now. Keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, yep. I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Alright, let's go back to the 1800s. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the Assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti falls or... Lisbon, or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity near Lugelberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Okay, I'm starting to understand. And in the first three games, we've been in an assassin. Then this one, because it's a rogue, the uh, guy with the assassin's training. 
trying to stop assassins to Do you know why the Grand stop Master's playing so with well, sir, he's very with uh, and ambitious. His knowledge of with the things. Second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certain. Oh my god, they're wrong. Goddamn button again. Can we? I don't think we can. Alright, we're gonna boat. What kind of fellow we should welcome in the order then? Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of strict anything honesty. guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an app. But watch what you say around him. Duly noted. Alright. I've heard Louis could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Clear sailing? There's never going to be clear sailing. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward right. to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. Here we take more than that, friend. Anyone care for a swivel? I'm sure the ice makes these waters most Ooh boy, 49. I don't want to fight with that one. There she is. The HMS Pembroke. Captain James Cook's ship. He's a beauty. Okay. Man of war. Fully armed. We should bring the Morrican alongside. What are we doing? Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Oh, we're starting a mission, okay. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac? Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real, uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Oh my god, there's too many captains. Captain here, Captain there. They are bloody all the rare. Everywhere. Almost a good rhyme. All right, let's roll. Follow the British allies, okay. Wolf, Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. Okay. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Okay. But some oh something's coming. Close up, laser sticks. What's happening? Enemy ahead! They're hit! Damn it! Pray for it. Do not let any through! It is imperative we stop those ships. The outcome of the war is on it. More than one! Make good use of your own horses. All right. 
Turning around. Ah, that's what he's doing. Dear God, fire ships! Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Prede. That one. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Great. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Yep. On your mark, Captain! They are foundering! Damn. Got him. Start zone. Let's get moving. Boost topsails! Oh, fire ships! Pull in sails! Mortars in control! Get the main street! They are foundering! Fire! Okay. Uh. Another wave of fire ships, Captain! Okay, can I shoot this? And another two down. More enemy ships, sir. More ships. More cool. Ships. This is hopeless. Perhaps it would be wiser to fall back. Uh, wisdom nope. don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons. Gah! Where are they coming from? I don't see them. Fire ships. Hmm. Uh, it was quick. Ah, hello. Thank you. I believe Master Kenway is correct, Captain. Most advantageous right now. Where'd you set? Did he see something that he doesn't believe me? Uh oh. If he did, he's pretty dumb.
There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. And Awale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. And it will be dance. Which decide who's gonna be left. Who's gonna live and who's gonna die? Yeah. My words got twisted. <laughs> Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful. Yeah, definitely I want him destroyed as well. Where do you want me to go? Oh, over here. Ah, we will like to fast travel, please. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol yep. of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to their core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. All right, let's go to a river volley. Hold Shut up. What are you talking about? Actually, I wanted to do... Clue up. Clue up. Clue up. One quick check it down here. Because we need uh, to collect our money. So we can get more. We can probably check the boat here. Whatever happened here. Thank you very much. Ah, we have these three, okay. Ship requirement, payment. Deliver, then collect. Hmm. Okay, let's go do this one with Sasa 6. And let's do this one with our friend Duke. Alright. Yes, I want to exit. Thank you very much. And just one quick check if we can upgrade, sell something. Tobacco, sell that. Buy upgrade. Advanced bow carrots. Reinforce this. Advanced explosive shots. Sure. All right, on to the next adventure. And I think we're going to do the next adventure in the next episode. I have a lot of kilometers to travel, so let me get there and I will see you in the next one. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, leave a comment and if you don't want to miss the next one, please subscribe and I'll see you then, because this one has been wrapped.